Shannon, mm-hmm. are you surprised that he spoke out like this? I am not surprised. Um, but I also said, Skip, right after the game ended, Jalen Hurts, you'll never play starting quarterback for the University of Alabama again. I would have left. The University of Georgia had a very similar situation, Skip. Jake Fromm, true freshman, mm-hmm. comes in for the starter who highly recruited. He was the number one recruit in the nation. That guy went back home to the University of Washington. Mm-hmm. Jake Froom didn't win the national championship. Tonga Valoa, he won the national championship, Skip. Mm-hmm. I get the frustration because he said nothing is being communicated. The mere fact that they took you out the second half and put him in, they told you everything you needed to know. Blame your father. Your father said in April, he said, uh, Dad said my son would be the biggest college free agent. The biggest free agent in college football. What was that about? If you had every intention on staying, why would your father make that statement? Coach Saban could have handled it. Coach Saban could have said, look, son, right now he's the incumbent. Um, and if the way he's playing, he's going to be our starter. Skip, the guy can throw the ball better than Hurts. Hurts has better legs. But that couldn't get him out of harm's way because two years earlier, had Hurts been able to complete a pass, they beat Clemson, I believe. They only beat, they only beat Georgia in the national championship game because the guy could throw the ball. They weren't going to come back running the football. So I get his frustration that nothing is that. And Coach Saban says he doesn't know if, if Jalen's going to stay, if he's going to go. Mm-hmm. He don't know anything. And then a week later, he comes out that Jalen says, I'm going to stay. I'm going to get my education. He's 14 credits from graduating. He's going to graduate in December. If I'm him, I'm going to say, Coach Saber, don't play me. Let me go on and get these grad, the graduating papers. Let me go somewhere. I can be a grad, a grad, and I can go get me two years of play. Mm. But I do not believe that he's going to play. Barring injury, <clears throat> I don't believe he, I believe he's taking his last snap mm. at the starter at the University of Alabama at quarterback. Well, he's not going to play now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh, oh you, huh? be, you believe Coach Saban gonna say uh, uh, no, no go? Nobody oh. calls out Coach Saban, and he called him out. He said it might have been Coach Saban. It might have been somebody else. Yeah. We don't know for sure. But he said Coach Saban nor anybody else ever asked Jalen what Jalen thought. I love this kid. I love what he's made of. I've always loved his intangibles. I've always loved his poise. He's not the best thrower of the football. <laughs> But he made plays for this team because they went 26 and two with him as the starting quarterback. It Not all it, bad. It made it to two national championships. Not all bad. And I'm going to remind you, two championship games ago, what turned into the Deshaun Watson game, mm-hmm. with two minutes left in that game, Jalen Hurts got loose and ran 30 yards for a touchdown. Now he didn't throw the touchdown pass, mm-hmm. but he ran it in for a touchdown that gave them a 31 to 28 lead mm-hmm. on Deshaun and company. And you know what Deshaun proceeded to do? About 70 yards worth of playmaking all the way to the Mm buzzer-beating walk-off touchdown pass, right? Right. It's it's hard to overcome that game. That was an all-time, all-time game by Deshaun, as was the one the year before. Mm -hmm. Those two games convinced me Deshaun should have gone to the Cleveland Browns as the number one overall pick. And maybe they won't live to regret it because they now have Baker Mayfield. But they made a mistake not taking Deshaun Watson. But it took that Mm. to to beat this kid in and right. what he did for this team. So again, he's learning how life works in big time football factory college football. It's what have you done for me lately? Absolutely. And if we find a better kid who's better at thrower than you, you're done. You are old news. He know the Tom Brady story. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He knows how his work. Yeah. Well, you can't lose your job because of injury. Coaches told me, say, look here, if you're playing and all of a sudden you're not playing, and the guy gets in there that's playing behind mm-hmm. you, and he's playing better than you before you got injured mm-hmm. or be- before your play started to decline, guess who's the starter? Skip, talk about Law is played better. Mm-hmm. How do you get he better did. than that? He was sensational. Yes. I, I take nothing yeah. away. John, I got it. What, 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 so would he have preferred Coach Saban come to him and say, we're moving forward with this guy? Would he have preferred yes, to say that? but Coach Saban's not going to do that because he needs an ace in the hole just in case because you know quarterbacks right, can get injured, right. So he would love to have it both ways, right? right? And Jalen Hurts said no. And I got to tell you, I, I told you this about Dak Prescott. In all my years of watching pro football, I've never seen a rookie quarterback display more poise than Dak did as a rookie. Mm-hmm. I have never seen a freshman, a pure freshman, true freshman yeah. quarterback display more poise than he did starting for – 
a, a championship team. That pressure cooker, which is the huge. SEC it was for Bama. huge. And he looked so poised, so confident, mm-hmm. so calm. It, everything was effortless to him. Yes. And I loved the way he handled himself. But again, he's getting slapped in the face with the realities of Coach Saban's football factory program. Coach Saban, That's about, what win- it is. Coach Saban about winning games. Coach yeah. Saban ain't got no loyalty. No. Coach Saban is no trying loyalty. to put the best 11 on the football field. And right now, you're not one of the best 11, Hurts. Yep. I, mean, I wish it was uh, some way I could sugarcoat it and put it in a nice, neat package for him, Skip, so he can understand. But football is – big college football is about wins and losses. Yep. And Coach Saban, this is what we know about Coach Saban. He's playing the best 11. Mm-hmm. All that by what he promised you when he came inside on your couch, he's telling you that's a recruiting pitch. Because trust me, when he leaves your house and go down the street 10 blocks, he's, he's uh, telling you, you got the same that thing. That is a fact. So, who, who does Coach Saban want? What's his ideal quarterback? It's a cog. It's just another yes. faceless quarterback. So, with A.J. McCarron, he won national championships. Greg AJ, McElroy. Okay, yeah. And A.J.'s now in his fifth NFL year, and this may be his first shot to be a starting right. quarterback. Two years ago, going back to cha- two Clemson games, yeah. he won the national championship with Jake Coker. Yeah. Where's Jake Coker now? He's out of football. Probably selling insurance okay. or something. Okay. Well, he's somewhere. out of football, so that's perfect for Coach Saban because he can say, look what I did. He, I won with that guy. And that's the right? thing. Skip, He's not. He, I don't even know if he even recruits an Andrew Luck. No. Nope. He's not going to recruit those guys because those guys want to throw the ball. You know you go to Alabama, they're going to run the football, they're going to play defense. So if I'm a running back, mm-hmm. I know I'm going to get touches. If I'm a defender, I know he's going to put me in situations that he's going to coach me up. Mm. But if I'm a quarterback, mm. I'm not going to know Alabama to nope. do what? To throw 10 passes a game? Just to be a cog in the system. Nah, nah. Mm. So hurt, I, I, bruh. As soon as he, hey, when they went cover two skip and that corner and that safety didn't move off that hash no, no. and that corner didn't sink and that ball was complete, mm. Jalen Hurts, I'd hit him with the deuces. I'm up out of here, coach. 